How about this paper that you, quote, had to stay up late on a school night to write for women's studies? Oh, Daddy, thank you for using your totally prominent attorneyness to score us tickets for tomorrow night. I have so been waiting to see Luscious Jackson in concert. Thanks for the chance to see them with my number one best. You are both welcome. Now, can we get back to my question about the report? We're researching it right now by listening to the CD. Cher, am I looking especially dumb for my age these days? But it's true. <laughs> Oh, not the part about you looking dumb, the research part. Our women's studies paper is on the group Luscious Jackson. A great example of a girl band that doesn't have to compromise socially or musically to be popular. Daddy, you're keeping us from our report. But you have just said the magic word. Back to homework. Five hours and 18 minutes to Luscious Jackson. Do you think they'll open with Naked Eye? Cher, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, you're right. It'll probably be mood swing. Why give up a hit single so early? It's much better to build to it. <laughs> Why aren't you as excited as I am? Cher, you know I've had trouble finding common ground with Murray's mother. Well, last night she invited me to spend the weekend with Murray and his family at Desert Springs Spa. This weekend? I know. But I won't go if you don't want me to. Go. Dee, it's important to bond with your man's mom. We can see the band later on tour. Maybe in Toronto? <gasps> Stellar call. I love Canada. Our outfits are 30% more stylish up there. And you know, obviously, you can take somebody else tomorrow night to the concert. Dee, best friend bulletin. I am only going with you. The subject is completely closed. Good. I mean, thanks. You're the best. Besides, I would only journey spaward if it was majorly, totally kosher with you. D, this bag might actually fit in your locker if not for the fourth pair of boots and the espresso machine. But then I wouldn't get to lug it around all day. So this is just in case the trip was OK with me? Cha, had you said no, Murray would be on his way back to my house to unpack that bag by now. I would? And how come this is news to me? Because it was need to know, Murray, and you did not need to know. Mush. Cher, my dad thinks I'm staying at your house this weekend, so if he calls, tell him I'm in a sauna. You do have a sauna, don't you? Yes, but why would I tell him that you're staying with me? Cher, pay attention. Now, my parents are going out of town for the weekend, and since I have no desire to visit a puppet museum with or without them, I am staying in town. Are you with me so far? Good. Now, I'd hide out at home, but the servants would knock me out. Why those lazy peasants resent me, I've got no clue. So where are you staying? My usual suite at the peninsula. Ciao. Uh, hold it, Amber. I don't do the line to parents deal. Oh, never, ever lose that sweet attitude. Even if one day you must leave Planet Share on a small rocket and crash land in the real world. Amber, this is simple enough for even you to get. I can't say anyone's staying with me unless they actually are. Fine, that'll work too. See you tomorrow morning. Whoa, major misconstrual. I replayed the words in my head and they absolutely did not contain, conceal, or connote an invitation. Clearly, Amber had weaseled an invitation to my house. The question is, why? And the answer is, apparently just for the fun of torturing Daddy and me. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> so, Amber, is anything all right with your room? Oh, yes, Fabby Mill. <laughs> Who would have thought a house so big would have a guest room so cozy? And sadly, as pretty as those sheets must have been when they were in style, I'm going to have to ask your people to remove them, Cher. Anything below a 400 thread count just gives me a rash. <gasps> Hello? Oh, looks like I will be wasting the next hour flossing the cilantro out of my teeth. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, the whole southwestern cuisine thing, it's been over for some time now. Tip, tip, tippity tip. <laughs> If we pour water on her, will she melt? Daddy, I can't believe she's acting like... well, like she usually acts. And especially after I basically took her off the street. Well, honey, we live in Beverly Hills where no act of kindness goes unpunished. Well, thanks for avoiding the fatherly chestnut that I've made my bed and have to lie in it. Well, you're welcome. So long as you realize that you did and you do. But you can't compound your mistake now by giving in to her every wish. You gotta be tough. You gotta regain the upper hand. I'm back. <laughs> well, girls, I think I'll hole up in my study and go research a case. Oh, your dad works on weekends and still no tennis court. Oh, my heart goes out. That tears it. Gratitude police, pull over. Amber, you started whining by cell phone since before you even got here. Oh, speaking of which, why are you here? Why couldn't you have given someone else's name? Someone who would have been happy to lie to your parents for you. Why me? Because my parents think you're my best friend, OK? What? Well, why would you tell them that? <sighs> I've been telling them that since we were in grade school. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. A big part of me was saying, aw. Well, an even bigger part of me was saying, Ew. I've got to call Dion. Oh, wait. I can't. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, damn. God, I'm never supposed to see you like that. It's unnatural. Don't be a dunce. It's only a facial mask. Oatmeal, honey, banana oil. Mmm. Sounds tasty. <laughs> Gross. This couldn't be happening less, Murray. I'm sorry, my love, but all I can think of is there's nothing between you, me, and the next logical step in our committed relationship except these pesky towels. These towels and the fact that I have to meet your mother in the facial salon when she's done with her bikini wax. Oh, nice work. Mood officially dead. Murray, baby, our time will come. I promise you that. I know, but I thought... I also promise you that it's not going to come this weekend with your parents here. Now, let me go meet your mother. You enjoy your massage. But, Dee, I'm not even down with this whole massage thing. I mean, if I wanted to be touched all over by strangers, I would have stayed home and rode a bus. Could you try not to be such a boy, please? Lie down, turn up your headphones, relax, and enjoy. It is supremely therapeutic, Murray. I'll see you later for a salt scrub. Oh, and if I understand the brochure correctly, that treatment involves no towels at all. <laughs> Why you gotta do me that way, girl? Why? <laughs> Hi, I'm Vicky. All ready for your massage? Ready is not the word. <laughs> Ow! Ready. You don't have to put on a pillow. Oh! Oh! That is supremely therapeutic. Hey, Vicky. Chris Farley threw his back out over by the meditation pond, and he won't stop screaming for you. I can take over here. Thanks, Vito. You okay with that big guy? Roxy! Oh, yeah, that's nice. Put on a fillet! That's a put on a fillet! Oh, girl, you got hands of magic. <laughs> you went to school for this, I could tell. Wait. You're saying for all these years I've been your imaginary friend? Cher, a little girl with a shrink for a father is under a lot of pressure to behave normally. 
If you tell the truth and say that you hate everyone else in kindergarten, you just want to be left alone to shop. Trust me, it sends up a red flag. Breakthrough, Amber. I bet that was the birth of your attitude impairment, a reaction to the pressure your parents put you under. Cher, save the amateur analysis. Many thousands of dollars in couch time has given us a totally different answer. One that goes back to a rainy afternoon when I was five at a matinee for 101 Dalmatians. <gasps> oh, I love that movie. Cher, I'm reminiscing here. Anyway, while the other sticky-fingered little idiots were wetting their seats over this sappy tale of canine overpopulation, I was entranced by the most stylish film heroine I had ever seen. Cruella de Vil looked fabulous. And the best part was everyone was terrified of her. Well, duh, because she wanted to make a coat out of the puppies. Oh, please, those mutts were so whiny and stinky. Who could blame Cruella for wanting to make something useful and glamorous out of them? Cher, I'm going to head to the office. Last call on those House of Blues tickets. Speak now or they go to Billy and Raul in the mailroom. House of Blues? Are we talking Luscious Jackson tonight? Dion and I were supposed to go, but Murray's mom took them to Desert Springs. Uh, we'll take them. <laughs> Was there anything else? How about... Thank you. Oh, no thanks necessary, Mel. I'm happy to help. I have to start getting ready. It's 12 hours from now. And that is what I'm saying. We have to hurry. Well, I thought you hated Lessus Jackson. Just last week, you were going on and on about how much they sucked. I had to. It's what I do. Luscious Jackson, I can't wait. Well, the thing is, I promised Dion I'd see the concert with her in Toronto. You still can. That doesn't mean that you have to let these babies go to waste. Well, Dion did say I could see them with someone else. Then explain the so-called conflict. I went to see Nine Inch Nails nine times with nine different guys. Well, the thing is, Dee and I sort of have this deal, and... Deal, Shmeel, you are here, and she is 200 miles away. Two years I wait for your parents to invite me somewhere. And after two hours, we ditch them and go home? And the only thing that's gonna make me feel better is if we get far, far away from that spot. Oh, that's rough. My lady left me for a red-headed hussy, too. Uh, it's flaming Auburn, rent a moron. And how many times have we failed the LAPD exam? This year? Come on, Mer. What happened? 
happened at that spa? You can tell me. No, and I told you I don't want to talk about it. Let it go. Dion catch you with an over attentive towel girl? Rush. Hi, baby. I got it. You walked in on your parents getting busy in the sauna. Oh, great. Now I lost my appetite. You know, there are dolphins being trapped in tuna nets. There's trouble in the Middle East. And I have had a truly heinous weekend. So could the both of you please stifle about what happened at that stupid spa? It's something juicy. I could just feel it. Sean, what you're about to feel is a muffin going up your nose. Gee! Hey, Murray, Harry, man, Murray, Murray, ah! Murray, man, it's cool. I can't take all this. My best friend trades me in like last year's Lexus, mm -hmm. and my boyfriend is all into his masseur. <sighs> D, I did not trade you in. <sighs> hey, I got no interest in this veto guy. So how come you know his name? I had to tip the guy. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. D, listen. The way Amber invited herself over was such the cry for help. I mean, she was begging for someone to pull her back from the dark side. And you know how Mother Teresa I can get. And that's just one of the reasons you say you like me. That is, if you still even do. I know you did what you did with Amber out of a well-meaning, but hideously misplaced humanitarianism. And I forgive you. Because you're going to assure me that it was a one-time only aberration, right? Oh, completely. Um, right after the two of us go shopping at the mall with Amber, like I promised. What? Well, it's... so bad, was it? Admit it, you had fun. Fun is a little strong to describe the afternoon share. Why don't we try something milder, like root canal? Oh, come on. You were laughing, you were smiling. I was shopping. Thank God not even Amber can kill that joy. Look, share. I tried. I hated it. Please tell me we are shutting the door on Project Amber forever. How can we? I mean, you saw her. She loves being with us. It would destroy her. No, only a house falling from the sky could destroy her. Seriously, how could we possibly tell her it's over? It's easy. Just look into those sea green contact lenses and see. Kids, this whole friendship riff has been definitely different and I'll admit, at times, almost bearable. But let's not make it a habit, okay? But I thought that you wanted to share. Please, let the woman speak. Amber doll, you were saying? Well, when I was buying my fun and fruity, I had this icky thought, like, maybe I should get something for you guys, too. Ugh, headline, this friendship is exhausting and expensive. <laughs> You're dumping us? Hey, this is a public place. Don't make a scene. Look, I I'll just say it. Hanging around you two is keeping me from spending time with the person that I care about most. Well, by all means, do not let us keep you from you. So I guess I'll just see you around school. And please, let's keep it on a superficial basis only. <sighs> Ooh. Yes! <laughs> Have we learned anything from this lost weekend? 
Some problems are too big for even shopping to solve. You're warm. <laughs> that you can't rehabilitate a reptile. Warmer. <laughs> Next time Amber asks me to lie to her parents, I do it? Bingo. There's hope for you yet. This is what I meant by supremely therapeutic. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so relaxed. I'm practically in a coma. Now, you're not going to go anywhere without telling us. Right, ladies? No, sir. Dink! <laughs> This is rocking. What? I can't hear you. So, Tiffany, I hear your boyfriend gets out on parole soon. Yeah, which means this is my last massage. Now, Finney has such a temper. If he assaults another one of my clients, he does the whole 15 years. So, when does he get released? I'm going to drive and pick him up tomorrow, the 18th. Sweetie, today's the 18th. Tiffany! Roxanne! Get your hands off that Roxanne. guy!